Is your Fronius inverter showing power low during the middle of the day? If it is, then you've most likely got a problem with your inverter. But there's a couple of things that you want to check first. And what I would recommend, I just want to recommend first up is power low is completely normal to see first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening when the power is quite low from the solar panels. Now, power low means intermediate circuit voltage has dropped below permissible threshold value for feed-in. So pretty much it's saying that there's not enough power to enable the feed-in of power from the inverter to the grid. So something needs to be done. Now, uh, if this is happening in the middle of the day, like I said, it most likely means there's a problem with your inverter. And so the, the thing I'll be recommending you do is contact Fronius directly or get in contact with a local Fronius service partner, such as Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We'll be able to help you. But one thing we'll be able to, we will require first up, before we can help you, is a serial number of the inverter. Now the serial number of a Fronius inverter can always be found underneath the inverter. So let's have a look here, we'll see. If we look down here, you can see that serial number there. So it's 8 digits followed by a slash and a 15. Now the, well in this case it's a 15, which uh, signifies it's an IG15, a Fronius IG15. Now this is a, an internal version of this inverter. Yours might be an ex uh, outdoor inverter which will look a bit different, but that's okay. So there we go, we can see that again, the power low. Now this is in the middle of the day, and it sh certainly shouldn't be doing that. So uh, so it may well be that a Fronius service agent is required. Now what I always recommend doing as well, if you do have any fault with a, a Fronius during the day, is and pretty much any inverter during the day, is uh, try and reboot the system. Now, with rebooting a solar power inverter, you always want to make sure you do it in the right order. That is, you turn off the AC first, then the DC. So, either the solar supply main switch in your switchboard, or an AC output isolator in your inverter, uh, beside your inverter. In this case, is a little test board here we've got. So we've got an, the AC breaker here, which will turn off, and then we're going to turn off the DC, you can see that DC input isolator there so we'll just turn, flick that off and that will shut the inverter, the inverter down state 104 which means it detects that the grid frequency is out of range on the inverter and there we go, it's gone totally blank now if you wait a few few seconds um, look, usually about 30 seconds or so is a, is a good time and then try and reboot the inverter which uh, with rebooting the inverter, it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. It could be AC first or DC first. So we'll just uh, throw those circuit breakers back on. The DC there and the AC. Throw them back on. And we'll see the inverter trying to start up again. In uh, the inverter startup procedure usually takes uh, around two minutes. So just got to be patient there while it starts up. One thing with the Fronius inverters, uh, if your inverter is under warranty, Fronius are very, very good at getting in your inverter back up and running for you as quickly as they possibly can, especially through their Fronius uh, service partner program. Usually a local local uh, solar power service agent will be around in your local area and will be able to will have uh, spare parts in stock so they'll be able to get your inverter working ASAP. And uh, to, to know if your inverter is under warranty still, we will need that serial number for under, underneath your inverter. So it's always very important before you ring either Fronius or your local Fronius service partner, is have that serial number on hand so we can uh, check in the databases and make sure it is covered under warranty. Now if it's not covered under warranty, if, if you're outside the warranty period, there's a couple of things you can do. You can either pay for a replacement component inside the inverter, or you can uh, uh, pay for a, a brand new inverter. Now, in this case, we see it's still coming up with power low in the middle of the day, and so we know that there is certainly a problem inside, and it will require 
a replacement component. So uh, you would definitely, in this case, need to get to a Fronius service agent, service partner, or call Fronius directly, and they'll organise a Fronius service partner to uh, get in contact with you. Thanks very much. I hope you found this little video helpful.